we finally snapped the losing streak thanks to, believe it or not, Amir Coffey. Amir Coffey, I just want to apologize for all the, you know, all the things that me, especially me, what I said about you last, like, last year, because Amir, this is like, this is his turning point, bro. This is literally his turning point. This man literally was making all the shots. He he shot like 8 for 12. Um, He had 16 points in the first half. He finished with 21 points. He pretty much beat the Atlanta Hawks. Like, like ever since like um late December, Amir Coffey was, was actually, you know, showing some value. He was, you know, actually, you know, Showing some reasons why Ty Lue was playing him. But today, Amir Coffey, I'm not going to lie. He made Ty Lue pretty much really proud because this man was making all... He was making a lot of threes. Um, He was, you know, playing solid defense. Not really making too much mistake. Um, having some good IQ. But he really beat the Atlanta Hawks. He really did it. Amir Coffey really did it. But nevertheless, we really needed this win because the Clippers like had a three game losing streak, but thankfully we snapped it. And 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 the Hawks, they were pretty much fully healthy. They had Trey Young and and we beat them. So that's that's a pretty that's a pretty good promising sign because like because especially like, you know, we need some type of way to, you know, boost our, boost our morale. And if anything, today was a, was a game, you know, to boost our morale. So I'm going to talk about some other players on how good they did. Um, Serge Ibaka, he went seven for eight, which is, that's an incredibly impressive uh, field goal percentage. Um, he did his thing, made all types of shots, made threes. Made mid range, um, being a, a veteran, reliable big. And also, another great sign is Isaiah Harnstein. He's on the floor. I mean, not on the floor, but he was, he was suited for, he was, you know, suited, up, suited for, like, you know, he suited up in a Clippers warm up, warm up jacket. So that's a pretty good thing for the Clippers because. Isaiah Harnstein, I cannot wait to see him back on the floor because he's a high energy guy, um, you know, yet and a high IQ player in general. So that's a big plus. And and then a lot of players they they stepped up too. Um, Ivica Zubak, he grabbed 13 rebounds, had some assists, I believe three assists. The last time I saw the stats, could have been more. Um, he was, you know, actually, you know, being a pretty solid big like a like compared to you know I believe last game because last game um Zubak was probably like really not doing his, his ideal but but this game Zubak got the boards and that's a really good thing because the Clippers could definitely use getting rebounds um Terrence man getting rebounds um he wasn't really making too much shots like he I believe I can recall he shot two air balls from the three, but nevertheless, he is always, you know, always playing with um, good rebounding abilities and playing some solid defense. Um, and then Nick Batum, it, it was another big plus, too. Um, he made some timely threes uh, and also did every little things, which resulted in him to have a high plus minus and then Reggie Jackson like Reggie Jackson you know hopefully he can find his groove because um <coughs> like he pretty much went for I like I think f- five for 14 and he did turn the ball pretty often I mean five for 14 I mean it's not like uh, not the worst stats you can have because Morris just had six for 14 but but if you watch the game, it looked like Morris did pretty good, and which it, in fact Morris did do pretty well. But but yeah, Reggie Jackson, like if he could just you know work work on you know the turnovers and all stuff, and 
just try to, you know, um, improve his efficiency. I believe that'll be really good for the Clippers. And, of course, Marcus Morris. Um, he He's just, you know, playing really darn good. He's playing like, you know, the New York Knicks, Marcus Morris, and or the Boston Celtics, Marcus Morris, you know, making all types of shots. Well, okay, not all types of shots, my bad. But he, he, he his threes wasn't really falling, so he pretty much went inside the paint, um, made, does his, you know, post fadeaways, which is, that's really effective because that's how Morris is getting the buckets. Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe, he didn't really seem to do too much in the first half, but then in the second half, he actually, you know, had some promise. He was, you know, slashing and everything. He still, he, he didn't make any threes, but he was, you know, actually, you know, well, he actually contributed as well too in the second half, so that's a big plus. And then, um, let, let me try to remember what else happened. But I think as of right now, as, as I speak, that's pretty much what I believe just pretty much happened. And then, Another, another thing I noticed a lot about this game is um, we definitely improved a lot in the ball movement. We did not really, you know, ISO too much compared to what happened in the uh, last game when we just pretty much ISO'd all, all the time. But in this game, um, we actually played pretty good um, and especially did a pretty good job in ball movement. And, and then Brandon Boston, like... Unfortunately, it was a pretty rough game for him. He did not make a field goal percentage, but again, you know, it's it's all part of, you know, having an on and off night and it's part of being a rookie because we all know what Brandon Boston can do if his shots are falling. But I believe he went like 0 for 6 and he only scored because his two free throws. But like I said, like, I mean, it, like it's, it's just part of, you know, um, being a rookie and trying to get consistent in. When Brandon Boston get, gets consistent, he'll be pretty good. But kudos to Amir Coffey because Amir Coffey was, you know, he was doing everything <laughs> that you would want him to do. He, he scored 24 points. It would have been really cool if he could have beat the career high. But, you know, Amir just, he just simply played, played for the team um, in general. But because, like, um, because he didn't really take, like, you know, too, too, too much shots in the second half, but in the first half, he, he definitely did, and it was 16 points, which is, that's actually really impressive, because Amir Coffey's not usually the type of guy who would score, tend to score, be, like, uh, that much, but, again, that's a really good part that Amir Coffey did, and this is really, like, a big turning point for Amir Coffey, because, like, now... It's only going to only get better and better and better because, like I said, the morale is going to go up. And so pretty much, um, let me know what you think about um, the game, the win against the Atlanta Hawks. And be sure to, you know, let me know in the comments. And as you all know, peace out.